Valery is known as a painter and as an art photographer. He lived in Israel, France, England, Belgium, United States. His paintings are in public collections of the Metropolitan Museum, New York, the Russian Museum, St. Petersburg, Russia, the Diamond Center of Tel Aviv, the Siemens Company in Erlangen, as well as in many private collections all over the world. In 1998, he received the Nikon Photo Contest. It's the choice of 150 best photographers of the world, all countries except Japan. So we can call Valery Kanevin one of the world known artists. Это, видимо, стандарт, да? Вот горные все стоят, да? Да, да, да. Ну да, ну давай, ладно. Общественность Ладно, ладно, ладно. О, вот это классно. Вот это классно. Вот один, вот один из первых кушек. I know him from the 80s in Russia. I've never seen his new works for a long time, but when I came for the opening, I wasn't surprised. I expected something like this from Valery. Most important are his drawings. That's the base of the artist. His paintings are like a hurricane, bright, colorful, and looked like it was made by a child, but very naughty one. <laughs> Mostly I love these small, nice things. It's the feeling of complete freedom 
and lack of any problems in art and life. I knew him as a very interesting sculptor, walking in wood but colored by oil. It was 20 years ago. Now I am very happy to see his current paintings. I love the colors, humor, composition, everything. At the same time, I see very close connections with Belgium expressionism and creativity of Fencer, who lived in the same town as them. Его юмор в его картинах, то есть он философию немножко. Has he changed for you for all these twenty years? Not at all. He is still the same young, talented, and full of humor, with balance of philosophy. Голодного, значит, шустрого в поиске любознательного. Вот я вот вижу в этих картинах. You were out of Yekaterinburg about 20 years. Have you changed? Me not, but the town, yes. What kind of changes? Everything, the town, the people and relationship between them. And your paintings, is there any influences from reality? Not at all. My paintings have nothing in common with reality. Could you explain why? Because reality is seen, but art is thinking and generalizing. So you have your own reality. Is this reality of a genie or a crazy one? The crazy one. Once in Germany, one journalist considered my art as very close to Chagall's style, which is true but only in the spirit which is the spirit of Russia. Art is a kind of compensation of reality, and when Western art is mostly sad, grey and serious on the background of normal life, the Russian art is generally bright and happy on the background of sad and grey life. Пошли еще разочек. Еще раз. Еще, еще, еще. Ну, скажи что-нибудь. Гу-гу-гу.
I remember I met Hilary Kornievin and his family, it must have been in 1993. We visited his workshop, and that was approximately in May 1993. And immediately we bought three pictures. The question mark is why? Well, the why is because we were very much impressed by his figures, but particularly by his colors. And after a few months coming back in Belgium, in Ostend, where I live, I was just thinking of inviting him in 1994 for an exhibition in Ostend. And it happened to be so. And the success was tremendous, and I felt that very many people were not only very much impressed by his colors, but also by his abstract work, which he has developed more recently in the years to come. So, there was another exhibition approximately a year later, it was in 1995, in one of the suburbs of Ostend, and had also a tremendous success for the same reasons. And ultimately, we decided to come and live in Ostend for a few months, but the few months became a few years. His children went to school, they speak Flemish, something he doesn't do himself very well. But as a matter of fact, very many people got interested in this work. And you have to realize, Ostend really is a town of painters. You have Ansar, you have had Permeke, you have had other people, very interesting people, like Spilliard, who was really unique in his genre. So he became very well known and was very much impressed, not only by the sea, but also by the work of Ansar. Well, I have um, Valery Konjevin, his work, learn to know by Dr. Bourguin. I found that a very beautiful work. And what mij vooral opviel was dus de wat mij opviel was de kleurenrijkdom, een prachtig coloriet coloriet, gecombineerd met een hele subtiele verbeelding, namelijk de wereld van het kind. En ook gecombineerd met wat typisch is voor Valérie, zijn uh, zin voor humor. Dus die drie samen, ook gecombineerd met de verbeeldingswereld van het kind. Want in feite is hij met het werk van Conivine. Daarna heb ik hem persoonlijk ontmoet. Dat was een hele fijne ontmoeting, want ik stelde dan vast dat inderdaad uh, er wel een eenheid is tussen de persoon en zijn werk. Er is een eenheid. En dan heb ik inderdaad vastgesteld dat de wortels van Valérie Conivine dat het dus Joodse wortels zijn wortel was, zijn kennismaking met Oostende, zijn kennismaking met de zee, zijn terugzien van een goede vriend, namelijk meneer Bourguin, de combinatie van de drie, plus een grote waardering, bewondering voor het werk van James Ensor. Dus ik denk dat dat precies uh, hem ertoe aangezet hebben om in Oostende te blijven en wortel te schieten in Oostende. Dus met ook, samen met zijn Joodse, Russische wortels, er nog iets bijgenomen heeft, namelijk de lucht uh, van Oostende. Dus de zee van Oostende, het strand van Oostende, de mensen van Oostende. Nu, de vergelijking met een boom hè, is typisch een vergelijking die uh, Klee ooit gemaakt heeft, Namelijk het kunstwerk is volgens hem uh, een soort boom. Uh, je hebt dus de wortels, je hebt de stam 
En dan heb je dus het gebladerde, de, de takken, de vertakkingen. Wel, de vertakkingen, dat, dat zijn de kunstwerken. Dat zijn dus die heerlijke kunstwerken van Valérie Konjevin, die dus werkelijk een streling zijn voor het oog. En de mensen ertoe aanzetten om effectief te dromen. Te dromen en opnieuw te vertoeven in die heerlijke wereld van het kind, badend in kleuren, badend in een heerlijk coloriet. Dat is karakteristiek voor Valérie Konjevin.